Tower, this is Airbus A320. We would like to hold our position here for a few minutes. Roger, A320, that's approved. Welcome to Airbus training and to the Airbus family. The aircraft you see here look like the aircraft you might be flying now. This family is a combination of experience acquired from aircraft like the ones you know and the exciting results of modern technology. The result is high performance and greater safety. However, these are not just old planes with new technology simply added on. They are aircraft which have integrated new technology into their design and that's what's new. Before you had to know each part of the aircraft. You had to learn how they were all connected before you could understand it. Today, this is no longer necessary because the systems and the information required to operate them are displayed to us when we need them. There are many things that you already know which apply to these new aircraft. For example, airmanship and crew resource management. Airmanship is everything that you've learned since the beginning of your flying career. Crew resource management includes situational awareness, discipline and crew coordination in which pilots help each other and back each other up. Another way of saying this is what's important in this aircraft are the basics, which you already know. What are different are the tools that you'll be using to make your job easier. You'll learn to use each new tool and the principles associated with it. The result will be you will fly with more efficiency, more precision, more ease and especially with greater safety. Now let's have a look at some of the things that pilots have always wanted in the aircraft they fly. First, and most important to the pilot, is the way the aircraft flies. In these aircraft, you have great handling characteristics, using a convenient side stick. And there's good visibility of the flight instruments. Not to mention convenient workspace. And here's another thing that pilots have always wished for. Low speed protection, especially against stall. For example, in this configuration with engines at idle and the side stick fully pulled back, you're sure to stall with a conventional aircraft. But with these aircraft, control is maintained and the stalling angle of attack is never reached. These protections are great, they help you keep in control, but they are not and were never meant to substitute for airmanship. In case of failure on some dark stormy night, You don't need to look for your checklist or ask yourself what you should do. The ECAM will tell you how things are and what should be done. And here's another wish come true. Look at the simple beauty of the overhead panel. Systems, their logic, switches and indicators are conveniently displayed and easily monitored. If I stop this pump, I can immediately see the consequence on the ECAM. 
Watch the indication as I switch the pump back on. I know instantly what the fuel is at my destination and I'll turn it. In the top right hand corner I can see I will have 7.5 tons at destination and 7 tons at my alternate. All the important flight information is in one place. The flight parameters that you are used to are displayed in a conventional T. Airspeed, horizon, altitude, and heading. And just above these basic flight parameters, you'll conveniently find just what your autopilot, flight director, and auto thrust are doing as you fly. During a malfunction, wouldn't it be nice to know just how it affects your aircraft capabilities? Well, the status page on the ECAM does just that. Here, we can see with the green hydraulic system inoperative, the other systems that are inoperative because of it. All this is made possible thanks to computers. People ask if pilots are being replaced by computers. The answer is an emphatic no. Computers are only tools that pilots use. Another question which is often asked is, do I need to know what's inside these computers, inside these tools? Well, do I need to know what's inside this pocket calculator? Of course not. All I need to know is how to use it. What we primarily need to know is what the indications and the information displayed to us mean as a result of the computers. Here is where the operational nature of the Airbus family comes in. Airbus has designed all the indications in a logical, intuitive and consistent manner. Here, we have the wheel page displayed when the landing gear is extended. But what about an abnormal situation? In this example, the aft cargo door opens in flight. The ECAM diagnoses the situation and automatically displays the door page. It isn't necessary to memorize too much on this aircraft. It's much more important to recognize and to understand what you see. And it's as important to continuously follow the basic principles that you know so well. Airmanship and crew resource management. Because these new tools, these computers, do not control you. You use and control them. For instance, some of these computers automatically control the basic aircraft systems so that, in normal operation, we pilots have very little interaction with them. But, at any time, if we wish, we can manually control them. But now, let's have a look at another very interesting set of computers the Flight Management and Guidance System, the FMGS. This tool allows you to follow your flight plan exactly, both laterally and vertically. Let's look at some more components of the FMGS, most of which you are very familiar. We have the Auto Thrust, the autopilots, 
and the flight directors. Remember this component of the FMGS? We inserted our flight plan here. Here is where we follow it. We can follow the flight plan very conventionally using speed, heading, altitude and vertical speed or by pushing a button it can all be done automatically. In this way we can follow our flight plan more precisely, more easily and far more efficiently. By the way, did you notice the intuitive nature of the navigation presentation? It is just one option, simply by turning a knob all the standard ADF, VOR and ILS indications that you know so well are here for backup and for you to cross-check. I would like to talk to you about one more set of computers. The computers for the fly-by-wire. They are called the flight control computers. They replace what you had in your previous aircraft. Cables, bell cranks, pulleys, artificial fields, their springs, jacks and analog computers. The controls, however, are very familiar. In pitch, we have stabilizers and elevators. In roll, we have ailerons and spoilers. In yaw, we have the rudder. And of course, we have flaps and slats, as well as ground spoilers. With all this fly-by-wire, the aircraft flies like any other jet transport, except with more stability. But what happens in case of failure of a system? The fault and the checklist appears on the ECAM. At the same time, an alternate system takes over, while we follow the checklist. In this case, we reset the system. To sum it all up, what you will do at Airbus training are all the things that you've always done. But now you'll have better tools. Tools that you have always wanted to do them with, with greater efficiency and better safety. In our experience, we have found that you don't need to be a different person in order to learn this aircraft. On the contrary, normal pilot skills and discipline are the foundation of this training course. However, like in any new aircraft type, you will learn some new skills, as well as consolidate some old ones. The Airbus family simply empowers good pilots to be better pilots. Our job at Airbus training is simply to keep you on course. I'll be seeing you soon. Airbus A320, we are now ready for takeoff. Airbus A320, 
320. You're clear for takeoff, runway 33 left. <laughs> 